With 100 new tiers to grind your way through within the battle pass of Season 7, and with new challenges to grind out, there are multiple ways to earn XP and Season Points to rank up fast within the MCC. And in this video, I'm going to give you the tips and tricks on exactly how to do just that. So stay tuned throughout the whole video to understand all the details. A new MCC season is upon us guys and that means some new content to grind out, some new stuff to earn and some more levels to gain for your profile within the MCC. So if you're looking up ways to grind out the game quickly to level up fast, well, you came to the right video. So if you guys like these tips and tricks type of videos, make sure to tap that like button. Let me know you want to see some more content like this. If you want to stay updated with everything going on with Halo as we ramp up to the release of Halo Infinite, well, make sure to tap subscribe. Let's get right into the content here. So for all you XP grinders out there, there are two main things I want to give you tips on to avoid and take note of when it comes to playing the MCC. One is to not play Halo 3. Even though it's probably a lot of people's favorite Halo game, it's actually the worst Halo game to play for XP because you get such a low turnout based on medals because XP payouts are based off of medal performances and how many medals you receive within a game and Halo 3 has terrible medals to give out. So it makes it very difficult to hit the max XP payout payout within Halo 3, but if you play any other game, yeah, there may be some discrepancies more than others, but you're really kind of splitting hairs at that point. The main tip is to avoid playing Halo 3 because of the low medals that you get while playing the game, meaning you get low XP turnout. So if you're new to the game or new to MCC and you're trying to grind out those ranks because those first 100 ranks, you've earned a new season point with new ranks. So for all you new players out there trying to grind your first 100 ranks of MCC, do not play Halo 3. That's the one thing I can give you a tip on. Everything else, you're fine with. The next tip I want to provide for you guys is keep an eye on your seasonal and weekly challenges because some challenges reward just XP, some just seasonal points because with these challenges you can earn more season points which goes towards your battle pass and each new challenge you complete earns you more XP. So for your first time grinders out there trying to get your first 100 levels this will gain you your first 100 seasonal points a lot faster. So the main thing to keep in consideration when looking at these challenges is how can you synergize these challenges with your weekly PvE and your weekly PvP challenges. Oftentimes with your weekly challenges, there are featured games that they kind of want to funnel players into to play for the week. So for the weekly PvP side of things, if we scroll down, we'll see the shared DNA challenge, which is complete match made games in Halo 4 or Halo 2 Anniversary. In the PvE side of things, it's complete campaign or sparring up missions in Halo 3 or Halo 4. So let's walk through an example of what I'm talking about here. So I know a lot of you guys are trying to unlock these time seasonal events. So let's take a look at the Elite Swordplay, which is complete the Nice Slice and Keep Killer challenges. The Nice Slice challenge has earned 343 points by getting kills with an energy sword, playing campaign missions on heroic or harder earns you 1 point, and sparring kills in multiplayer earn you 10 points. We also did find out last night on our live stream, which we do stream every Tuesday and Thursday night guys, doing a little bit of a new show and some playing some games with you guys as well within the community. Link in the description and the pinned comment down below. Now playing within the custom game browser, you do earn 1 point per Spartan kill. So we played a bunch of affection last night. I got 41 sword kills, but not that great, but... Hey, you got something out of it. So what can you do to synergize this to optimize your game time to earn more season points and XP? Well, I highly suggest jumping over to Halo 4 or Halo 2 Anniversary Infection modes to get your sword kills in multiplayer. Or if you want to go the campaign route, make sure it's a Halo 3 or Halo 4 mission. The Keep Killer one is just kill high ranking elites in campaign or Spartan Ops. In my previous challenge guide video, I talked about how Spartan Ops actually has a surprisingly low amount. And really the best way to go about doing this is playing campaign missions. So again, play either Halo 4 or Halo 3 campaign missions. If you really want to try to optimize your PvP time, there is the Quattro King Challenge, which leads you towards getting the Pixel Battle Rifle skin in Halo 4, where this one is win 15 ranked matches in Halo 4. So playing ranked Halo 4 matches will give you towards this, will get you towards your headshot challenge that you have for the seasonal challenges. If you happen to get a sword kill within Halo 4, that leads to your nice slice, and will also lead to your PvP challenge right here for the shared DNA. Though I highly suggest for your brain burst challenge which is earn 500 headshots most likely the best move to do this right now would be playing halo 2 anniversary or halo 4 swap modes of course after each week there's a new featured game
game, so whatever the new feature game is, I would say suggest playing that so you can double down your PvP weekly and seasonal challenges. But the reason why I say to go with your seasonal challenges first is these are very thematic and very specific, while most of the PvE and PvP challenges right here are very generic. And they're more just like rewards for you for playing the game essentially. Like this one is win three social matches for just playing multiplayer and anything, there you go. There's almost always this sweat equity, which is win two competitive games, which will go towards your Halo 4 rank challenge as well. The stay positive, which is just have a positive KD ratio. Earn style medals within the game. So probably we don't want to play Halo 3 because it's so low on medals. And we also have objective results, which is earn objective medals in matchmade games. Again, this is very common with the weekly challenges that they're very generic and very kind of open to just play the game for however you want. There's nothing really too specific, like get grenade kills, get wheelman kills, complete weekly challenges is another challenge for 100k XP for the weekly challenge. That's pretty great for your first time grinders out there. Same kind of thing on the PvE side of thing. This one is just play firefight, get some kills in there. That one comes around every week. Complete campaign missions, hard difficulty earns you more points. That's around every week. Heavy metal is defeat heavy enemies and vehicles in PvE modes. That's around every week. Battle Hardened is kind of a one that comes around every so often. It's just complete a mission on le legendary difficulty. But like I said earlier, there's always the thematic challenge within the season or week where it's just saying complete missions within a specific game. But so general process is like going, okay, what kind of challenge do I want to grind out here? Like maybe the sword challenge. Okay, well, that sounds like a PvE or PvP thing. Check out your weekly challenges and what you can do from there. And I even broke down the stats for you guys to kind of showcase what to expect for seasonal points and XP to earn. As in every week you get six PvP and six PvE challenges, almost always equating to these different XP gains right here. But it looks like we'll actually be earning less seasonal points than we did last season. And the season six, we actually earned less season points than season five as well, but we equating to the same amount of XP as well. But if you complete all your weekly PvP challenges, weekly PvE challenges, and all your seasonal challenges within an eight week period, which is every two months we get a brand new season for MCC, should equate you 123 seasonal points with just under 2 million XP down here. So the main thing is, as long as you keep in mind what your seasonal challenges are, and then you try to think, okay, then what are my PVE, what are my PVP challenges to kind of get the proper mindset of, okay, so how do I optimize my game time the best way possible? So when I'm playing, I get the amount of XP that I want and the amount of season points as I want. So then, you've, especially for you first time Halo fans as well, or at least people still grinding through your first 100 ranks, that your first 100 ranks, you do earn a season Season point within each rank up so that's an entire battle pass right there so essentially get your grind on jump in play some mcc i do know that the matchmaking is kind of borked right now but i'm sure they'll get that fixed very quickly as 343 has acknowledged us and they will resolve this issue rather quickly but hopefully this video helped you find out ways to rank up quickly within the mcc so if you're new to the channel or missing any content from me recently check out the videos on the screen right here got a link to all my news and informational videos thank you so much for watching i greatly appreciate it i'll catch you on the next one Peace out.